Stress is a normal physical and psychological response to the demands and pressures of life, and we all experience it. When exposed to an event that provokes stress, the human body and brain respond as though they're in danger. That means that the brain's hypothalamus signals the body's adrenal glands to produce more of the hormones adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones speed up heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing rate. They cause pupils to dilate, thereby improving vision. They increase blood flow to the muscles, putting them on alert to act, and they prompt the liver to release energy increasing glucose. This is known as the stress response or the fight or flight response. When it works correctly, the stress response can be very beneficial, causing a person to perform well under pressure. For example, a little stress may make an individual ace an interview or help her win an athletic event. But long-term stressful situations may cause the stress response to overreact or fail to even turn off at all. When this happens, a person may experience negative physical effects like a weakened immune system, stomach trouble, and difficulty sleeping. Emotionally, a person may become tense, depressed, or moody. This is known as chronic stress and can be due to a number of factors. Common causes of chronic stress include major life changes like having a baby or relationship difficulties like a divorce and health problems like cancer. Social issues like an unpleasant job or a negative living environment can also lead to chronic stress, which can be disheartening. Stress management techniques can help get that fight or flight response under control. To get started with stress management, it's vital to figure out what is causing stress in the first place. Some people find that keeping a detailed stress journal helps them pinpoint causes of stress and how the emotion makes them feel. Once stresses are identified, it's possible to brainstorm strategies to reduce them. Sometimes this can be as easy as turning off the television when the news is distressing or taking a different route to work when traffic is bad. And other times, more general techniques can help get chronic stress under control. These techniques include exercising regularly and getting enough sleep, relaxing with deep breathing or massage, and focusing on the present with meditation or imagery. Although these methods are effective, occasionally stress simply becomes too much to handle alone. So if chronic stress is affecting your life, Make an appointment to see a mental health professional.